Hi, I'm Jennifer Giles, and I am here at the opening night of the Long Island International Film Expo at the Belmore Theater. It's not the Belmore Theater. It's Belmore Movies. Huh? Belmore Movies and Showplace. Oh, is that it? Belmore, Belmore Movies, movies and, and Showplace. You'd showplace. think. Oh, the Belmore Showplace. You'd think I could get through that. But I'm here with Bill Blaney, and his film is the... Three? No. The Three Phases of Fern. The Three Phases yes. of Fern. I'm guessing that's a woman. No. No. An actual <laughs> fern. No. No, Why no. That, you tell me about the film. Okay, that just that happens to be the last name of the main character. Um, ah, okay. What it's about, <clears throat> it's about a, um, a shy teenager who, through a new friendship, gets pulled into his town's drug subculture in uh, 1982 Long Island. Is and this autobiographical? I, uh, not not really. I would okay. take about this much of it, okay. just, just off right. the top. But um, sort of the unique identifier of this is the fact that this was shot in 1986. And it was actually traditionally edited. And when I finally got a release print back, I was around 21 years old. And I looked at it and, you know, it's like you see little things in it that yeah, were yeah. not great. I saw a camera light in a shot. And... You know, at 21, I just said to myself, it's like, I can't show this to anybody. So it went into a film can. It went into a closet. An actual can. An actual film can into a closet. <laughs> and I went on with my life and, you know, got a career and right. got married and, then, you know, two wonderful kids. And uh, then the pandemic hits and you have a little free time there. So what happened was I was going through one of the back closets that hadn't been been anybody in there for about 20 years and uh, and I find the film I find the negative of the film which I didn't even think I had uh, so I thought okay well I'm gonna send this out and uh, get it digitized and see what I have here how long was it how long was the film it was then? originally yeah. 44 minutes long oh my god yeah it was it was an ambitious project I did this as as my final undergrad uh, senior thesis film and or senior undergrad film at Temple University in Philly. Uh -huh. And we purposely, we had about 165 camera setups. We had nine days to shoot it, which was not enough. But we got it done. We did around 15 hour days every day. And uh, myself, my sound man, Tom, who's now been a sound man in, in uh, feature films for, geez, I think about 30 years or so. Wow. Um, we got it done. And it was, you know, it's, I was always uh, impressed with it, but I was beating myself up over the little right, mistakes right, right. that were made. But now, digitize, I could fix that. Yeah. So I did. So finally I sat down, and after about a month, I got rid of everything that drove me crazy before. And, uh, and, and looked at it. And how long is it now? It's now 32 minutes long. That's fantastic. And, uh, and yeah, now and it's, tell me it about actually what works. it's about. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's about a teenager named Jim. Right. And... Uh, and, Jim Fern. Yes. And um, <laughs> he meets, uh, he gets a new friend, a guy named Craig. And uh, Craig is part of this group. But what Jim doesn't really know is he becomes friends with him, becomes part of this culture, is that Craig is really looking for a way out. So it's kind of between the two of them and how, you know, how the culture sort of becomes toxic after a while for both of them. And it was shot in Philly. It was shot, no, no, it was shot in Manhasset, uh, Port oh. Washington. Great Neck and uh, Sea Cliff. I'm I'm from here. Oh, you're from Long so Island. So I brought the equipment back from Philly, oh, and wow. I shot it here. And, for free uh, locations and yeah, whatever locations whatever. I had. I was living in <laughs> Manhasset at the time, so yeah, we used my house, we used friends' house until it was too late, and they wanted to get us out, and then we had to compromise. That's always um, the story. Yeah, and it was shot on 16 millimeter. Wow. Um, so it's oh. gonna look it's gonna look different from everything else Yay. here. Yay! And when yeah. is it screening? It's screening tonight in the 915 block. Oh, um, fantastic! I will be there. Yeah, probably sometime around 10:30, looking at what's sitting in front of it. But I'm getting a lot of people who are actually from my hometown are, are showing up. Uh, the two lead actors, who I I honestly have not seen in about 30 so years, so they're gonna be here too. So it'll this it'll be fun. Great. It'll be great. This is great. Yeah. What a great backstory, and I can't wait to see the film. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, thank you so much for coming to life. I appreciate it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> thank you.